Now, in performance task number one, it is about your field health contribution. Now, here is your scenario. You are a field health personnel and you need to encourage employees of a certain company on the benefits of having a field health contribution. So you need to present the field health contribution table and a graph of the field health contribution to the employees and research on its benefits and also print a copy of the field health contribution table highlighting the employee's share. Then lastly, you need to make a piecewise function graph out of the data. Your presentation must be clear, complete, and convincing. Now, remember for the first performance task, you need to have three outputs. Yes, Divine, any questions? You've raised your hand. Let me go, let me continue. Now, there are three outputs that you need for performance task number one. First, you need to have to research on the benefits of field health. Second, you need to print a copy of the 2019 field health contribution table. And last, you need to make a piecewise function graph out of the data. Now, so for example, in the next, here's your output number one, research for the benefits. And I think you could just Google that one. So no questions for output number 1.1. .1. Next, for output number 1.2, the contribution table, you also need to Google that one and print it out and paste it in this for in this paper. But if you don't have any printer, then you could do it with your pen and start just again, just focus on the employee's share. Let me give you a parallel example. But this time, my... Answer kay kanya ko. Get not you mute. Okay. Who else? I could not mute Kaishi. And this iPhone, the last one. Okay, now. Let me give you a parallel example. But since your performance task is about field health, then my example this time will be about SSS contribution. Anyways, their tables would look very similar with each other. Now, let me share another one, another screen. Here. Again, in, for you, it will be the field health contribution table. My example will be the SSS contribution table. Now, if you look at the SSS contribution table, there will be two, employed and self-employed. We'll look at the employed area. Then from the employed area, you need to look at the EE. ER stands for employer's share, while EE stands for employee's share. So, for example, if I'm giving my contribution to SSS, MVC, because MVC is my employer, is also giving a contribution in my behalf. Myself is also giving a contribution as the employee. Same for field health. If you get hospitalized, you get benefits, right? Right from field health. And what will happen is those contributions, these are combinations of my share and MVC's share for me. So let's look at this one. Uh, just the EE. What will you just look at? The range of compensation, or we say for some, what is the salary range? And you look at the EE, what's this? Contribution. Okay. If you want to look, to have a closer look on that, I'll be sending a sample file 
in the chat box. Wait for a while. Okay, now I'm sending the sample SSS contribution through the chat box and it's still sending. Almost there, sent. Okay, now. So if you want to take a closer look at that, just go to the chat box. Now, how do we interpret it? Let me go back to the SSS contribution table. Here's how it is interpreted. I could not drag you. For example, if my salary is below 2,250. Okay. Now. Here's how we interpret the table. For example, my salary is below 2,250. So, I'll just give 80 pesos per month to SSS. If my salary is here, example, 10,000 pesos, I need to look at the bracket. It's in this bracket, 9,750 to 10,299. It means that I'll give 400 pesos to SSS every month as my contribution. If my salary is 20,000 that belongs to this bracket, then I'm going to give 800 pesos to SSS every month. That is how we are going to interpret this table. Same with the field health table. Okay, now. The, so, we are done with performance task 1.2, the contribution table. You simply print it, Google it, Feel Health Contribution 2019, and then you need to, uh, what's this? You need to paste it. Now, how to graph it? Excuse me for a while. <laughs> Well, no, oh, I don't know why. I I could not see who's talking. Wait for a while. Please mute your microphones. Thank you. I could not mute your microphone. But in case you insist, what I could do is to remove you from the group. Yeah. Okay. Now, how to graph it? So, example, I have here my, if you'll see, I have here my SSS contribution table. And this time, we are going to graph it in a piecewise function. So, how to do it? Let me share my whiteboard. Now, remember that the employee, the salary compensation range will be your X. So again, the X will be the salary and the Y will be the EE um, contribution. Now what will you do is you need to draw a rectangular coordinate system. First quadrant only. I'm sorry, I'm still new to virtual <laughs> graphing. Now, in your x-axis, you need to write the salary range. So it starts from zero. What's the lowest? 2,250. Please refer to the document that I sent you. Next is 2,750. Why did I not include 2,749.99? Because that could be a part of this 2,750. Then the next one will be 3,250. I will not write all. 
then three thousand seven hundred fifty. The next is four thousand two hundred fifty. The next is four thousand seven hundred fifty by five hundred. Three thousand uh, five thousand two hundred fifty and so on. Five thousand seven hundred fifty and it will continue. Now in your why you need to write the contribution, employee, again, EE contribution. So I'll start with 80. The next is 100. The next will be 120. The next is how much? 140. The next is 160. 180. This is the general class, not the pre-cal. <laughs> Sorry. 180, then 200. Then, what's next to 200? 220. Then the next one is 240. And you could continue. Now, let's start with the first one. The first one states that if it's below 2,250, your contribution is 80 pesos. So what will you do is, you draw a circle in 80, you draw a circle in 2,250, then join them. Since a zero salary is not included, okay, ba? for example, if zero ang salary, wala yung contribution, then I just need to below 2,250. So 2,250 is not included. So we also we just leave the circle unshaded. How do I interpret the first one? It means that if my salary is just 2,000 here, still I will pay 80 pesos. If my salary is only 1,000 pesos, then I will still pay 80 pesos. The next one, here, from 2,250 to 2,749.99, it means this is not included, but 2,250 is included. So I'll shade it. I'll pay 100 pesos. How do I interpret this one? If my salary is 2,500, I'll pay 100 pesos for the contribution. Next, a third one. From 2,750 included up to 3,249.99, I'll pay 1,120. The next, if my salary is 3,250, up to 3,749.99. So this is not included. Open. I'll pay 140. The next one. If my salary is 3,750, up to 4,249.99, I'll pay 160. Then the pattern <laughs> just... <laughs> Continue. In the last one, I'll place the last one here, okay? The last one, it says 19,750 and above. Then, I need to pay how much? 800 pesos. How would it look like? Here, from 19,750, you need to draw a circle. Since it starts from 19,750 above, so shaded, and it doesn't have any limit, so you just draw an arrow. It means that from 19,750 up to the largest salary, you will pay 800 pesos for your Oops, 800 pesos for your contribution. Wait for a while. So that's it. Any questions? I'll save this one.
Now, do you have any questions for lesson for performance task number one?